those skull and bones launched sometime last week i can't remember exactly when nor do i care but uh, with it we celebrated the launch of our first quadruple a game well that's according to the ubisoft ceo anyway uh, let me tell you right off the bat <laughs> there's nothing quadruple a about this it's hardly a triple a game i would i wouldn't go as far as to even call it a triple a game anyway i've got some few days left on my ubisoft connect uh, subscription i got it for avatar so i decided i'll get it and do some performance analysis uh, with the rx 3080 and the rx 6800 xt now this won't be a typical benchmark video i'm just uh, do, using these gpus to do a performance analysis on the game itself and uh, i'm just using an nvidia and an amd gpu so that you can see if there are any performance differences using either brand so first off let's go over the settings here quickly the settings are pretty basic under display you've just got your normal settings brightness contrast etc you can switch between windowed mode and borderless and uh, that's pretty much all the settings there then if we have a look at the graphic settings there's quite a few presets here and uh, spoiler alert the preset uh, scaling is uh, is not that great but uh, i mean there's quite a few settings you can change you've got adaptive quality or dynamic resolution whatever it's called i'm not going to like click through all the settings here. i'm just showing you the different uh, modes here so for upscaling we've got taa dlss and fsr for taa that's the only upscaling tick or uh a temporal upscaler that you can actually use native with the dlss and fsr only go from quality up until ultra performance so no native there dlaa or faa whatever it's called on amd side but it does have ray tracing right but it's got ray traced global illumination which only applies to your ship either your ship or ships i'm not entirely sure all right so let's just start off with the performance comparison here we are going to be doing a city roaming here this is the the first big port that you come across and you can see that the frame time graph is extremely inconsistent you'll see i've got a few additional metrics there i've got all the cores as well so the first six cores would be the physical cores with their hyper threads and then the rest of the e cores but you can see that we dropped a lot below 60 frames per second here now you would think this is CPU related and you wouldn't be wrong to think it but I'm going to slot in the RX 6800 XT here and while the 6800 XT has a higher base frame rate than the 3080 in this game or my testing anyway you can see that it struggles a lot more and I've got no idea why you can see that the GPU power there is dipping into the 80s which is terrible the GPU clocks stay very low everything about this experience in town is just abysmal now i'm not entirely sure what is exactly causing it as uh, i mean the frame time graphs weren't really good with the uh, rtx 3080 either and as i said you, you'd be thinking that you'd be cpu bound but uh, the performance is much worse on the amd gpus here. so i'm just going to do a side by side comparison here i know you saw both of these already i just want to to show you more or less like the difference between them at certain spots and just look at the frame time graph on the right hand side i am running the latest uh, preview driver 24.2.1 because i did test the whql driver and uh, the performance was basically what you see and i thought maybe a new driver would help but unfortunately not as you can see it is a very inconsistent and all over the place so i'm just going to go through a few upscaling settings here just to show you how upscaling actually scales so yeah we've got native uh taa native on the ultra high preset then we've got dlss quality with fsr set to quality then just uh, going to fsr balanced and dlss balanced we we gained a little bit but not much and then ultimately we are testing fsr performance and dlss performance and not cpu bound but the frame rate does not really increase that much Right, now we're getting to the preset scaling. I'm just going to compare the different presets to each other. This is a, not a comparison between the NVIDIA and the AMD GPU. I'm just putting them side by side so you can see both GPUs here. I, I specifically chose the 6800 XT and the 3080 for this test. I'll be using these GPUs going forward for these performance analysis just because they are very similar in performance, right? But you can see that uh, unless you go down to the medium preset or even the low preset here, there's 
not that big a difference between the presets, which is quite strange. All right, so I'm just going to enable a 60 frames per second cap here via RTSS. And now you can see that the RTX uh, 3080 on the left there is running at a consistent 60 frames per second. This is probably the most consistent performance I've ever seen in a game by capping it to 60. Well, me personally, anyway. You can see even the 0.1% laser sitting at 60. At first, I thought uh, MSI Afterburner had crashed, but uh, it wasn't the case. And you can see that the AMD GPU, even though it does have a higher base frame rate uh, with FSR and everything enabled, it is a struggling. So I'm just going to do one more test to see if I can get rid of the stuttering issues here i'm going to disable the e cores and uh, that didn't help at all just a note there's no performance difference between day and night in this game um, i tested it extensively it's just uh, i had to retest the e cores off setting and that's why there's just a difference in the time of day but there's no difference at all in the performance Right, so now we're just moving to C, and uh, you can see that the, the performance on the 6800 XT is slightly higher than on the RX 3080. At C, the performance is much better than in ports or uh, on foot. You can see that we, we've we got around a 10% difference here between the, the two. Nothing much. Uh, this is a Red Devil 6800 XT and an EVGA uh for the win 3 ultra 3080 so they're, they're pretty much on par the rx 6800 xd does pull ahead slightly and it consumes a lot less power all right so let's test upscaling at sea it's going to be the same test as uh, on land not that big a difference between uh, the presets here you'll see that uh, we gain like five six frames per second so i'm not going to be testing all of them that i did on land so we'll just stop here with fsr balanced all right now we'll be testing preset scaling at sea as well and similar results but the the gains here from changing the presets do seem to be slightly higher a little bit further down the line so going from very high to high for instance uh, the camera does uh, automatically move so that's why it's just uh, i have to correct it all the time but i do think that 1440p high with the lss city quality or fsr city quality is is your best bet to play this game is it the best way to play this game it actually looks okay and it does perform pretty good as well now we've got ray tracing and as i said before the ray tracing it's uh, it's one of the stupidest implementations i've ever seen first we'll have a look at the rx 3080 you'll see that there's around a 10 frames per second difference and then the same on the 6800 xt except the 6800 xt actually is a little bit higher all right so now for my conclusion this is uh, supposedly our uh, first quadruple a game and uh, i don't know if you noticed it but uh, it's really not <laughs> um, just looking at the performance in town really the, the the cpu performance it's definitely cpu related but it's not only cpu related it it really definitely needs a lot of work there's not a lot of npcs in town either so i don't know where all the resources are going and why the stuttering is as bad as it is at sea even during battles the performance seems to be quite okay but a quadruple a game this is definitely not all right so that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did remember to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one